Here's my mom's little Chromebook from 2012. I uh, was not charging a week ago. It is now. Should turn on. It's really dirty. I'm going to have to take a wipe to it. I'll do that. But I don't know if you can tell, but it is live. And I was able to charge it completely, 100%. And she wasn't getting anything at all. Hi, welcome to 50 Plus Tech. Well, today I'm going to show you how I replaced the battery on my mom's 2012 Chromebook. I would not, I am not a repair person. This is the first time that I have replaced a battery uh, in a laptop. Anyways, I've replaced batteries on other devices, but on a laptop. So, um, and the only reason I went ahead and did it is because, you know, warranties long past and uh, she really, really, it's just a small little 2012 Chromebook. It's seen better days but she really loves it and it didn't make sense to go and buy a new one when we could probably just replace the battery or get a new charger or whichever. So I went and did some YouTube viewing and read some articles on uh, how to do it and thought about it for a bit because I'm not exactly the most coordinated person on the planet. So I was a little afraid I was gonna break it, but I went ahead and tried. The first thing, typically, when you've got an issue with your um, Chromebook not charging is to do what they call a hard reset. I'll put the little, I think it's like a control T or something like that, but um, you can do a hard reset and it basically is as if you had taken the battery out and put it back in. Um, so you don't have to break open the back here and stuff. So if that works and you're able to charge from there, great. The next thing is you should check to see whether or not your uh, charger is working. And uh, you can either do that by seeing if you can find another device in the house that uses this type of this itty bitty plug here. If, if you can find another device and then go and try and plug your, this is the one that wasn't working. Um, if you see right here, I've got a brand new battery in this Chromebook right now. So, um, if you plug it in and there's no light, then it's not working. So, and then this is the new one with the new battery. And there's a green light. And I will show you a little bit closer once I've got the back open for you. So you can take a look and just let me reiterate this is not a repair guide per se just this is how we travel how we did a troubleshoot to try and figure out how to get it working okay so next bit um if you discover that um for some reason it's not your charger and you think it's your battery then you can get a battery on Amazon for for this particular thing for about $20, $20-$25 and it looks like this. This is her old one. It's just a little flat thing and then let me just reiterate if your Chromebook is new still under warranty opening this up is going to negate the warranty. So don't do this unless you have a device that's older the warranty is out you know, you're probably going to toss it anyway. Um, it's probably your best bet. So, um, you don't have to, but I, you can use a, to crack open the back, you can use a dull knife. Um, and I will show you in a second with my, with the, with the kit, uh, in order to open up the back. So to get the back off, I have already got, I already took the back off and replaced the battery. Um, so I have a couple suggestions for things to have with you before you try and take the back off because you're going to unscrew Got these little screws right here. I don't know if you can see my little magnetic bowl so that it would hold up because I like I said, I'm a klutz 
So when I take stuff out, I always wind up with something in my rug. Uh, so I went and invested. I've been wanting one for a while. But um, I went and just got just an inexpensive little kit. What did I say? I paid uh, ooh, um, the three parts. Cats go magnetic parts tray. It has this. It had the little magnetic. I love these things. So that you can um, grab, screw off the floor if it happens to fling, which happens to me all the time. I go to put something in and it goes flying across the room and then I'm running around trying to find it. So one of these little telescopic things, it's not necessary, but helpful. Um, and the kit was like $24, was it? No, I take that back. It was $18.99 for three pieces. The little bowl, this little thing so you can see around corners, um, and then the telescopic magnetic thing so you can grab your screws if you if you uh, drop them. The other thing is um, we're gonna, first thing you're gonna do right, is unscrew the screws like I was talking about. And you can use, I bought this iFixit kit because I've been wanting one for a while, just like I want the magnetic thing. I've built desktops before um, and so I'm not at all afraid of uh, working with the electronics, but I have never taken off the back of a laptop and replaced anything. I'm not, like I said, I'm only doing this because this is a oh, seven year old laptop and I'm not too concerned if for some reason I do something to it and it doesn't work. So, all right, so the first thing we wanna do is take out all these screws. I don't know if you can see them. Let me look real quick and see, yeah. Uh, there's a screw here, there's a screw here, 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 here. So you take, you can either get this kit, which is $25, I think, for this ABD kit, and get the correct size, tiny little Phillips screw, I think it was this one, and then just unscrew, unscrew, poop, 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 screw, unscrew, unscrew. And then take them all out and this is why I like the magnetic one I basically put the ones that belong you know I just kind of separated them in the bowl what I forgot to mention was most of them not my mom's but most of them have a little gray like foot pad type thing down there with some sticky um, my mom didn't have that she just had the sticky left and didn't have the gray left on it but you can use a flat um, a little flat one like this and put it on here and just kind of gently loop, loop it up. These four screws are under those little circle, like a gray circle pad. Okay, so you can do that. Take the little pads off. Um, and you can use, you don't have to use this screwdriver, you can just get a tiny screwdriver, the best screwdriver that has a tiny little, um, uh, what do you call it with the four? I can't remember the name off the top of my head. I will put it in print because I will put it down there. Um, Phillips, yes, a tiny little Phillips. And then um, then you take these all off. Now I bought the iFixit so I've got the little flat taker offer thingy, but you can use a dull knife. And here's where I say once more, this is not a repair. I am not a repair person. I just watched a bunch of videos. So you can, um, hers is still kind of up there. So what we want to do is take the back off. And it took me a little while to figure out how, but you just basically have to get under, more like up and down motion, and then do that, okay? Just make sure all the screws are out. Um, you can strong arm this or muscle it open but please don't do that. Be as careful as you can be. Go down and push up. Go down and push up. Okay, same here. The corner of my mom's laptop had a little crack in it, so I have to be, I have to be careful when I go to take that part off. But you just do that. And go up until you get all the way around. Okay, that, All right, and I won't make you watch the whole thing. I will um, speed it up. Maybe, maybe I will, maybe I won't. 
Okay, and then you just go all the way around and get the back off. Be extra careful when you get to this part because sometimes this piece will come off a little bit when you go to put it back on again. So we'll do that. Oh, see, see how it's kind of sticking out like that? Be extra careful around that corner. Um, do it all the way around until you get the whole thing. I am not the gentlest, most delicate person, but I'm being careful not to just yank things away from the bottom of the laptop. So I'll do that. All right. Okay, and now we have the bottom. Excuse all the creaking. I gotta get a different table. My apologies for that noise. Okay, so there's the here's the motherboard and here's the battery. This is the brand new battery um, that I replaced, and all I did here's the old one. Okay. Now the other thing I meant to mention before, and I probably put a note is before you crack this open, check, I will show you in a minute, but check to make sure that there isn't a bump on your keyboard. That would mean that your battery, or a bump on the battery, that would mean that your battery has some gas buildup and it's, it would be risky to open up. If you look at your, if you look at your little Chromebook and everything seems fine, straight, whatever, you're good. But if you see a bump, of any sort, there's probably gas buildup inside your Lion battery. So you wanna be careful with that. Then, once you get it open, you take your little Phillips again, and you screw, um, I think it was this one, okay? And then you unscrew all these. There's one, two, three, four, five, so it's that same one, one, two, three, five batteries, okay? And then I'm gonna take this out and put it back in, just so you can see. And one of the things I like about these, I fix it, is that, um, I'm gonna put this over here so I make sure, it's magnetic, the tips are magnetic, so it holds onto the screw for you, so you don't have to worry about it falling and stuff. So this is the new one. I'm just gonna take it out, put it back in, so you can see what I did. I took this one out. I don't know if you can see that one right now. Okay. And then you unscrew this. And then you unscrew that. Again, like I said, only do this with an uh, older laptop that you're not worried about a warranty on. And I mean, it seems silly to me to throw it away especially since my mom loves it so much. Uh, okay, there we go. So I've taken that out, and then you just gently lift up the battery, and there's a little, this thing right here, you just lift it up, and you have taken the battery out. And then, so there's the battery there. Here's a little thing that I pulled off. Now to put it back in, we just go like this, put it back, you should hear like a little bit of a clicky, okay? You're not pulling it in and out, you're pushing it down. Put, you're picking it up, pulling it up like this. I put my fingers right under where the colors are, my little thumb under here and then that, and pull it up. And then when I go to put it back in, when I put the new one in, I just push down. So I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna make a liar out of me. Okay, do you hear the click? I connect it. Then I just uh, do this. I'll make sure they're lined back up again. So I've got the um, screw thingies. The, oh, I've got it on there, right? Oh, I was gonna put screws. Okay, so I'm gonna screw it back in. Okay. I'm gonna do this. Um, I'll probably speed this up, we'll see. You screw it back in there. Are you the correct screw? Make sure it's not, <laughs> take that out of context. Um, 
All right, so screw that in. Do mind my nails, guys. I am not one for getting my nails done. Okay, and that. Screw it in. Get one more. Okay, so we have just replaced the battery, which is what the, uh, what the goal was. See, that's why I like this. That's what the goal is right here, is to replace the battery. Okay. And then, once you replace the battery, I look at this and I say, oh, these are, that's the, that's where all the plugs and stuff are, so that's going to go in the back. Okay. It takes me a minute to put these back together. But you just snap them all back in place. This is in the bay. Be extra careful. I'm missing this little piece. Um, so watch for this when you're to take that out. This is a really old one, but okay. So now put this all back together. This one looks a little. I think it got dropped. You see, there's a little bit of a thing right there. But otherwise, and then. I will screw everything back in and I'll show you my mom's uh, laptop wasn't charging at all so I left it charging before I got a hold of it decided I was going to try and fix it in fact when I'm done here I'm going to be giving this back to my mom which is why I kind of rushed the recording alright so just put the screws in my GoPro decided to ooh -hoo, decided to stop right in the middle there. Screw everything back in. Okay. And uh, I will show you we have a functioning Chromebook when it wasn't functioning before. Okay, so I put all the screws back in. There's my mom's little Chromebook from 2012. Uh, was not charging a week ago. It is now. Should turn on. It's really dirty. I'm going to have to take a wipe to it. I'll do that. But I don't know if you can tell, but it is live. And I was able to charge it completely 100% and she wasn't getting anything at all okay so um, I just wanted to show everyone how to do that it's truly not that difficult I would recommend um, looking at some other uh, repair guides but I was able to do it, it was my very first time doing it and we can save having these things thrown away if all you do is flip them over and replace the battery. Um, I did test this battery with both of the chargers and this battery is also dead. So my mom had both going on. She had the dead battery and the charger wasn't working. So it was, um, it made sense to do both. Now you can tell when you're done uh, this is her old charger with a brand new battery and there's no no green I don't know if you can see um, I might have to zoom in a little bit so you can see this is the brand new charger that I bought with a brand new battery I'm gonna plug it in and then lift it up and show you it's green okay so for us it was worth it uh, it was probably with a new battery and a new charger um, 40 50 bucks these things go for about 200 but the big thing for us or for me anyway is not tossing this into some tossing it somewhere and nobody's you know my mom will love using this thing so you or if you have an old one in the house and you can just repurpose it and give it to a kid or give it to some elderly neighbor 
uh, who need some way to get on so that they can talk to family or whatever, but that you definitely can uh, fix these. It's really simple. I did it in less than five minutes. So uh, if you have any questions, ask me below. Um, I'll answer what I can. Again, I am not a repair person. That was the first time I opened up the back of a laptop. I've built PCs, but first time that I've opened up the back of a laptop and it was not difficult to do. And you can find ways, good uses for them. So thank you for watching today. Um, this was kind of rushed because I wanted to make sure I got my mom her, her uh, Chromebook back because I've had it since the weekend. <laughs> so I think she'd like to have it back. Um, but I would like to encourage, I did purchase the iFixit kit because I plan on doing some other small little repairs here and there where I need to. Uh, and it comes in really handy. This one is basically for mobile and for small devices like, uh, let's see, what does it say on here? It says for laptops like we just did, phone, tablets, uh, key fob wearables for smart home. So it's a nice little kit to have around. And what did I pay for it? Do, 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 $24.99. So this was worthwhile. I didn't include it in the cost because I'm going to be using this again and again. She got a charger. Um, I got a charger. I think I paid $16.90 for the new charger that is now working with the battery. She bought the battery at about $20. So it was worthwhile for us to go ahead and do that. Uh, I will leave links to the iFixit kit, to the little magnetic bowl with the, um, what do you call it, this thing, to pick up the stuff that falls on the floor, telescopic picker-upper, and this thing, which I will probably use when I'm putting stuff together, when I build my new machine at the beginning of the year. I'm putting all my parts together and we'll be building a new AMD um, computer so I can edit better and faster. Uh, by the beginning of the year. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that you guys need to know. But uh, I hope somebody finds this helpful and is able to take apart their uh, old Chromebook and fix it for somebody. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.